I'm Jeff Hoffman from the WRUF Weather Center tracking the wintry precipitation and keeping a very close eye on the freezing line. We may have some frozen precipitation in parts of North Florida and warnings have been issued for Columbia and Sewanee counties advisories for Union, Bradford and Lafayette counties. Now this is the satellite and radar composite from earlier today and you can see that freezing line marching south but to put on the brakes in the panhandle earlier today. There's still been some frozen precip but there's definitely been a lull in the activity that will not last a new wave of low pressure is developing out in the eastern part of the Gulf of Mexico. You can see these cloud tops cooling. They're getting brighter and whiter, and there's also some new precipitation developing here just south and west of Tampa, and this new piece of moisture will start to slide north and east, and we're going to have to keep a close eye on the freezing line, denoted here in the panhandle, that will also be moving south and east. So it is possible that we still could have frozen precip, but it all depends on the temperature, not only here near the surface, but also aloft. These are the temperatures expected tonight at the surface. And you can see Lake City just briefly below freezing, near the freezing mark in Stark, near the freezing mark in High Springs, but Gainesville above the freezing mark. All right, that's very critical. It will likely be raining in most all of north central Florida tonight, but only areas near I-10 will experience the sub-freezing temperatures where bridges and overpasses could get slick from freezing rain. There's also something to tell you about, and that's the possibility of sleet. First of all, only patchy ice on the roadways near Lake City, ice covered roads possible near the Florida Georgia border. Here's a look at future track that moisture coming back in late tonight. It's possible, though, that if we get some heavier rain, pockets of heavier rain here in Alachua County could bring down the cold enough air for a period of two of sleet. Going to keep a close eye on that. All the mess leaves by about daybreak tomorrow, but the wind and the cold will stick around for one more day.